I'm here to show you my top three essential oil favorites and I think what would be a great uh, beginner's guide to essential oils. Uh, first, I'll show you, these are just my personal bottles. I am not affiliated or paid by or sponsored by doTERRA. However, I do happen to really, really like these oils. They're all 100% certified, organic, all natural, all oil. It's not diluted by anything. It's pure oil. Uh, this one is lavender. Uh, my second choice of top three would be lemon. And the third one would be peppermint. Um, as a mom, as just somebody who doesn't like to always have to go to the doctor and always take medicine and put all that stuff into your body, um, especially young moms, if if your kid's sick and you don't want to go to the emergency room at 2 in the morning and if there's something that you could give them to maybe taper off their fever or to get their cough to stop so they could get a little more sleep and you could actually wait until daylight hours and drive them to the doctor in the morning I think that is amazing this is in no way a um, something to avoid the doctor sometimes you have to go to the doctor um, I don't sell these oils and nor am I a doctor. These are just my personal tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. And um, it's worked great for my entire family. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna show you. There are three ways you can use essential oils. Um, you can diffuse them in the air and you can put them on your body topically or you can ingest them. Now, the important part about using a 100% organic essential oil that's pure, you, those are the only kind you can ingest. You cannot ingest an oil that's been diluted or that's been chemically changed from its original oil. Uh, so please note that. And again, I'm not an expert, but uh, these are the best things that work for me. I love sunflower oil. Uh, you have to use a, something to dilute your oils, especially if you're going to use them on younger kids. So sunflower oil is very healthy. It goes into the skin easily and it's great. We also have jojoba oil. Uh, I put this in my bathtub. I use it to dilute oils. Um, you can use it as a moisturizer. It's awesome. Last but not least is coconut oil. Uh, this comes in many forms, but uh, I try to get food grade. Uh, it's the highest, uh, what do they call it? Oh, it's unrefined, so it's going to be the highest quality. You could eat this, and I think they call it like kitchen, let's see. Um, made for ingesting, also good baking, sauteing, cosmetic use, and massage oil for your hair. So that is that. This is my favorite diffuser. Uh, this is also a product sold by doTERRA. Again, I am not affiliated with them. Uh, however, this has been amazing in using my oils. Um, when the kids aren't feeling good, they'll be sound asleep. And I'll put a little bit of oil in here. Uh, you fill the bottom with water, plug it in, and it'll go usually a few hours. All of the essential oils get put into the air. They breathe it in, and then it automatically turns off when it's done. So um, super safe, amazing, awesome. Okay, so let's start off with lemon. Um, my favorite things to do with lemon, not only is it, a sanitizer so you can clean with it but um, it's also great for fever whether it's an adult or a child um, if you mix this usually adults two to three drops with um, at least double the amount of diluter sunflower oil uh, extra virgin olive oil there's so many different but I again I just showed you a few of my favorite um, so what you want to do is if you're diffusing it, you just use the diffuser. If you are gonna put it on topically, you wanna to dilute it, 
And the best places to put it for fever would be the back of the neck, um, anywhere around here, the here and the temples, and the bottom of the feet. And the bottom of the feet are especially important if you're going to do it um, with small children or infants. Infants, they say not to use it. I'm not going to tell you to use it. I used it on my infants and it worked wonderful. You just have to be very careful. I used like a tenth of what I would use on a child's dose with a lot of carrier oil. So it's super, super diluted. Um, the other good thing that lemon is good for is <laughs> when you're sick, um, you can add it to the diffuser, put it in the air. Just if someone around the family, like if you have a large family or one of the kids has been sick and you don't want everyone else to get sick, it is amazing to detox by the air. So put it in the diffuser, put it in the kitchen, put it anywhere that anyone's been around that's, you know, common area, and it'll do the trick. We have lavender oil, which is amazing, um, especially for new moms. If you've got infants uh, or toddlers or young children that are constantly having ear infections, which I went through with both of my kids, um, it's really good if you can take a cotton ball, especially with infants, like pull it in half, um, sop it up with just a little bit of this, put it in their ear, so you're not actually putting the oil directly in the ear, you're putting it on the cotton ball, putting the cotton ball in the ear, and they'll sleep with it like that, and it's almost enough, it literally pulls out the pain, the infection, everything. I'm telling you, it works, it's awesome. Um, you can also diffuse it in the air if you have a fussy baby or uh, anxiety or, you know, just can't sleep. It is perfect for that. Um, and so I will go to, oh, I want to tell you one more thing. Um, any kind of, oh, sore throat, gargle, half of this, half lemon hot water, your sore throat will be gone. Okay, last but not least, because this stuff is amazing, uh, during pregnancy and pretty much ever since, I have used this. I've used it mostly um, externally, topically, usually anywhere around where I can smell it. Um, even if it's getting really bad, I will like put it at the tips of my nose. However, it can burn, so you probably want to dilute it first. Depends on what level of nauseous you are. Uh, but it works amazing. And you can also put like half a drop, very little, in a glass of water and drink it. Again, it has to be 100% essential pure peppermint oil. Um, another thing it's great for is studying for kids in school that have ADD, college kids that have testing. Um, if you've got some kind of job interview or exam at work and you need to focus, this is your oil. Uh, peppermint oil is amazing for fatigue. I recommend diffusing it. Uh, again, rubbing it on your feet, anywhere behind your neck. Those are really important places that it's going to absorb into your body quickly and be effective. So these are just my top three. I have just about every oil they make. I love them. I live by them and I plan on doing this weekly. So I'm kind of calling it like Soothing Sunday. So next Sunday, I will be introducing more of my favorite oils and giving you a broader idea of what all they can do. Um, if you have any questions, just put a message down there, comment box. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you next Sunday. Thanks, bye.